Got it. Hooray, now to rob them blind. I guess it's not robbing them blind since they're all dead. Okay, let me might as well get rid of that get that enchantment while I'm here. It's uh this one. Hooray! Okay. Got it. Time to get my treasure. Yay, loot. Anyway. Uh Oh yeah, the Hag Ravens. In the lore, they have a rivalry with the Spriggans. So that explains why the Hag Raven, that Hag Raven has Nettleborn to combat the Spriggans. And the Spriggans defend, um, what is it called? Um, the Elder Green. Nah, ha, ha. This is Nope. No, I'm doing bad at this. Okay. There we go. Oh, healing potion. Hooray. Recovering losses. Money from skeletons. Recovering losses. Alright. Now that the hags are gone... So, at this point, there's two ways to complete the quest. I always complete it one way because I didn't know there was a second way. And the second way is the easier way. Um, easier if you can fast travel to the location. Harder if you haven't been able to do that yet. Alright. So let's do this. So, apparently there's an NPC you could take along with you to the Evergreen Sanctuary that um, lets you avoid a fight with Spriggans and also avoid some civilian deaths that the Spriggans will cause. That's my regen when the file starts or something. Anyway, so we're here. Fancy robes. Are you a wizard or something? Anyway, because she has to have a conversation with a guy at the temple, so I need to go to the temple first. You got some metal bane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I did, but I want to get this quest right. And I've never done it this way before, so I need to make sure it works. And considering the crossover the mods, uh, hopefully it does. Alright. Where'd she go? She's still... Yeah, it was weird. I had a hell of a time trying to find her earlier. So we fought witches. We're close to saving Christmas. Come on. This tree needs some leaves. No oh, rats. Back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Yes, come on, go in back, go into the thing. Wait, why are you going? You went, you started halfway through the bridge and then, ah, NPCs. You know, go in. I think the guy will be there. Hope the guy's in there. All right, into the temple of Kim Oh, another little bonus so from the. Have you got a metal bane back from those? From the. Yet? There's a guy. For a festive Christmas is um, in certain towns there are snowmen. If you go to if you go to the snowmen, you get um, a blessing. Though I think it wore off. Um, yeah, it's a blessing that gives you twenty percent frost resistance. Easy. There's a guy. So have you got a bane back from this those very odd mustache. Yet? Oh, I, well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now, almost didn't. I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm the dragonborn. The sanctuary road is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the grove of the Elder Gleam? Yes. 
Oh, 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 oh it wasn't the conversation, wasn't dialogue. Hearing, yeah. I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Your eyebrows, mustache, and voice make me want to distrust you, but I know that you won't betray me, so yeah, come on. I thank you for your kindness. I know, because I read the script. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's fast travel. So, the way you can... So, what you have to do is you have to take this guy to the... Um... The... This pl No, no. This place. Elder Gleam, Elder Green, Elder Gleam, that. Elder Green, Elder Gleam Sanctuary. And if you haven't discovered this location, you have to have that guy accompany you. And he's a follower that you can't command, like an ordinary follower. So that makes it tricky, so you can't have him chill back while you fight bad guys. He'll just charge in and probably die. So yeah. It's advised to discover this location and just fast travel and you cut out a whole lot of trouble and you avoid the bad ending. He's behind me, right? Yeah, there he is. Okay. Gorgeous cave lighting. Gorgeous. Do you Isn't that marvelous? Gosh, this game's so gorgeous, I just can't help but marvel at the, the astonishing environments. Yeah, like there are a number of pilgrims here, so if you do the bad ending, what you do is you use the nettle, nettle bane to um, extract sap from the tree, and that causes and that summons Spriggans to attack all he all humans in the area. And since Spriggans are are tough cookies, you're gonna those NPCs are gonna die. You have to do this though to cut cut the roots that like get out of your way, but it doesn't affect the the ending of the quest. Just this part, and whether or not this guy follows you. And why is he not following me? Hey, guy, there he is. He's just taking his time. I had no idea you were a man of violence. What exactly are your intentions in this blessed place? Hey, what? How are we else supposed to get up here? Would violate this marvel of Kinnereth's glory to fix that half-breed stump in White Run? That's abominable, barbaric. I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? You have a better idea? That's what I was going to say. Well, yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. As long as as long as it saves Christmas, I'm fine with anything. Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. I'm really find it weird that they chose that voice and that design for that character. Cause he's not villainous, but it just has the just has the trimmings of one. Come on, stop clipping into the ground. We need to do this. And I don't want to fight Spriggans. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. Cool. You should take it to White Run. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. I believe I'll stay here and bask in Elder Gleam's warmth a bit longer. That sounds like a fine idea. Travels, may Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. This place is, seems fantastic for a picnic, just as long as you don't screw around with the plant life. All right, while you're doing that, I need to go save the day and save Christmas. 
And no innocent people need to die in doing so. I call that a win. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really glad I got that water improvement mod. There's, um, because in the vanilla game, a good example of them kind of having to rush some features. This is a very minor one, and you probably would never notice, but the water in the troughs, usually by um, the forges, uh, don't do anything. Like, like there's a texture there. I mean, there's, there's a texture there to show that there's water, but it, it's has no animation or movement whatsoever. It's just this blue color. So yeah, perfect for corrections and modding. Gosh, I may I need to make my Argonian character in this game. Really need to remake my Argonian from the Xbox version. The Argonian mercenary Cedric Bad Crumble. Raised by Bretons. After being orphans as a child. Due to... I haven't come up with the backstory yet, but I'm going to write it. That's, that's I, I have to... I have the, some of the bits already, but I still need to come up with something. Make a video about it. Because I'm that bored sometimes. Look at all the children. Scurrying around. Waiting for Santa to arrive. Spending time with their families, enjoying the holidays, the company, the interpersonal connections. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And it's so fantastic that there's so much glorious color and, and celebration in this wonderful time of year. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? But. I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Green. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? Hey, work, hey, this idea worked for the Cocker, for the Kakuri Society. It's going to work for you, so chill. I, you're right, of course. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new gilded tree <laughs> that will tower over White Run. Thank you. Yeah, it takes just the, the cell reloading. Grace of Kinner with you. Did I even get a reward for that? No. Oh yeah, um, if you get her disposition high enough. Oh, you only get the reward, which is getting her disposition high enough so you can get master training and restoration if you do the bad ending. So the bad ending's kind of the... It's a good ending if you want a reward, it's the bad ending if you want to avoid unnecessary civilian deaths. So yeah. We saved Christmas! Yay! And there was much celebration. It's, it might be hard to tell, but trust me, these NPCs are um, cheering on the inside. Right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but they even put like red noses on the dragon statues. That's fantastic. Most of them, anyway. Some of them, anyway. <laughs> well, I want to see what, they, what the how the Jarl decked the halls, decked the outside. Let's see what's on the inside. My house, we put a lot more focus on decorating the inside than the outside, by a lot. Aw, he didn't even... That's nah, cool. At least the outside's pretty. Cool, so let's see if that's cell reloaded so I can check out my fine work. There was a glitch where sometimes the new... The new tree will, um... The old tree will still be there, so the new tree, um... And the old tree will be at the same time, and they clip into each other, and it looks kind of off. So, mm, some... You need a... I forgot how to fix that. Kind of have to do some weird finagling with loading and whatnot. 